Glenn and I will focus on the flat spot that Trevino creates in the impact zone. Plus, we'll also take a close look at his phenomenal wedge play. Big pair of legs. I could get out of the way, you know. Even though I had a, a, a um, even though I had a, a, a strong grip, uh, I took the club outside and closed, rerouted it on the way down. But in order to do that, you've got to have a terrific pair of legs. You you cannot stand flat-footed or actually turn in the barrel. I actually had a slide turn. See, that's what set the club off. Yeah. People that flip with wedges. It's, it's, all they're doing is increasing the, 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 the bounce on a wedge. and you, you can't learn to hit a bump and run or, 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 or a check wedge that way. No way. If you have video... I take those three. This one first. It'd go. And when I did that, I, the ball automatically moved back, but I never looked up again. That way, because if I put the ball back there, it always looked like I was aiming way right. So that was my, my, my takeaway. My takeaway was the three steps. I never took the club back unless I stood there and I went one, two, three. Mm, and there I go. My first movement of the downswing, I actually broke my knees in front of the ball. I actually would break my knees because I, when I took the club back, I was a little shot, a little outside. And I had to get the club back inside. And in order to get it back and lay it back off, you've got to move your knees first. You can't turn. The knees have to be broken towards the target, and, and, and it's almost a little small lateral movement there. And, uh, and that's what makes the club come back in the slot again, and then you can let it go, or, or you know, whatever you want to do with it. I never had a mental approach to the game, to tell you the truth. Uh, you know, people are always talking about their thinking about this hole, that hole, or whatever. I never laid a game plan out. I just went out and I played. Uh, the only mental uh, approach to the game that I ever had is that I, I got my confidence from hard work. If I practice day and night, day and night, day and night, then I relied on that. That's where I got my confidence from. I think the only thing that you can learn from me is uh, hard work. If you want it bad enough and you put the time in, you can achieve it. Take the rubber band, wrap it around once here, put it over your arm to where it's just right here, and then and, and you can look at the speed I can get and I didn't touch your knee. <laughs>